If you need a blender add-on that help you create and generate various types of fabrics and tactiles, then this add-on is gonna be a great start. Knitting Generator is an add-on that makes it possible to procedurally and very easily create complex knitting effects in a short period of time. What's interesting about this add-on is that you can use it and apply it on literally any mesh object, which is very good. And the nice thing is, you don't have to worry about unwrapping or fixing the UVs, which can be a huge time saver. So firstly, installing the add-on is pretty straightforward. Just like any other add-on you would, you need to go to the add-ons in the preferences tab and then simply install the zip file and activate the add-on. Now, you will find the knitting generator add-on tab in the end panel. And all you have to do is select the mesh you want the add-on to affect and click add. And just like that, you have successfully added the knitting effect to your geometry. But if you're not satisfied with the way it looks, don't worry about that because there are plenty of customization and setting options to fine tune and get the results that you like. For starters, you can use the randomized position value to dynamically randomize the placement of each fiber, which will help you break the uniformity of the pattern and make it look more realistic. Additionally, you can choose the number of fibers using the fiber count value, which will help you increase the density of your fabric by adding multiple layers over each other. It also comes with a setting to control the radius of the fiber if you are looking for a thinner type of fabric or a thicker one, which is pretty nice to have. You even have control over the knitting radius, which will change the way the pattern looks and give an interesting result. Another handy setting to play around with is the subdivision level, which controls the subdivision levels, obviously. By increasing this value, you will get a more complex pattern with more detailed fibers. But you have to be careful when playing around with this value because it could literally make your PC explode because it is processing intensive. And if the effect becomes too heavy for your computer to handle, then you can change the fiber resolution as well to better optimize the mesh of the fabrics or even go for a low poly look if this is what you're looking for. Another nice feature that comes with the add-on is the ability to add secondaries which basically adds frizz to your fabrics. Using this feature will definitely help you get some additional touch of realism and it will surely improve your renders. It comes with some settings to fully tweak the effect of the wrist, offering options such as secondary fiber to control the density of the fiber for a messier look of your object. And it also comes with settings to tweak the size like minimum and maximum. In addition to secondary noise, which you can play around with to get some interesting results. Now, we're gonna cover a very interesting and super useful tool that this add-on comes with. At the very bottom of this add-ons tab, there is an option for adding animation, which works like magic. After you check that setting, a very neat and gradual knitting effect will simply and easily be applied to your geometry. This sort of effect would have taken countless hours and nodes to achieve the geometry nodes effect. But now, you can simply just apply it with a single click. And this add-on comes with settings for tweaking this effect like animation speed, as well as the option to pick the animation starting point. So guys, if you are interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more new videos like this and news of 3D in general. Thank you guys very much for watching again and I will catch you in the next one.